Let me ask you about the <laughs> women running running the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, so gender does, in part, perhaps shape the landscape of just our human experience. Um, so, in what ways was it limiting, and in what ways was it empowering for you to be a woman in the Middle East? I think just kind of just going back to like my comment on like women running the world. I think it co comes back to empathy, right? Which yeah. which has been a common thread throughout my my entire career. And it's this, this idea of human connection. Um, once you build common ground with a person or a group of people, you build trust, you build loyalty, you build um, friendship. And then, and then you can turn that into like behavior change and motivation and persuasion. So, so it's like empathy and emotions are just at the center of, of everything we do. And, and I, and I think being, being from the Middle East, kind of this human connection is, is very strong. Like we have this running joke that if you come to Egypt for a visit, people are gonna be, we'll know everything about your life like right away, right? Yeah. I have no problems asking you about your personal life. Yeah. Um, there's no like no boundaries really, no personal boundaries in terms of getting to know people. We get emotionally intimate, like very, very quickly. But I think people just get to know each other like authentically, I guess. Um, you know, there isn't this like superficial level of getting to know people. You just try to get to know people really and empathy deeply. Empathy is a part of that. Totally. Because you can put yourself in this person's shoe and kind of, yeah, imagine, you know, what, what challenges they're going through. And um, so I think I've, I've definitely taken that with me. Um, generosity is another one too, like just being generous with your time and love and attention and even with your wealth right? Even if you don't have a lot of it, you're still very generous. And I think that's another. Enjoying the humanity of other people. And so do you think there's a useful difference between men and women in that aspect and empathy? Or is doing these kind of big general groups, does that hinder progress? Yeah, I don't, I, I actually don't want to overgeneralize. I mean, I some of the men I know are like the most empathetic humans. Yeah, I've I strive ever... to be okay. empathetic. Yeah, you're you're actually very empathetic. <laughs> um, yeah, so I so I so I don't want to overgeneralize. Um, although one of the researchers I worked with when I was at Cambridge, Professor Simon Baring Cohen, he's uh, Sasha Baring Cohen's cousin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he runs the Autism Research Center at Cambridge, and he's written multiple books. Um, on autism. And one of his one of his theories is the empathy scale, like the systemizers and the empathizers. And it um, there's a disproportionate amount of computer scientists and engineers who are systemizers and perhaps not great empathizers. And then, you know, there's and there's more men in that bucket, I guess, than women. And then there's more women in the empathizers bucket. So again, not not to overgeneralize. I sometimes wonder about that. It's, it's, it's been frustrating to me how many, I guess, systemizers there are in the field of robotics. Yeah. I, it's actually encouraging to me because I care about, obviously, social robotics. And it, because mm -hmm. uh, it's it, it uh, there's more opportunity for people that are empathic. <laughs> exactly. I totally agree. Well, right? So it's like nice. That's, yes. So every robotics I talk to, they don't see the, the, the human as interesting as... Um, like it does, it's not exciting. You want to avoid the human at all costs. It's a it's a safety concern to be touching the human, um, which it is. But it, it's also an opportunity for a deep connection, exactly. uh, or, or collaboration, or all that kind of stuff. So, and because most most brilliant roboticists don't care about the human, it's an opportunity, <laughs> right? Uh, for in your case, it's a business opportunity too, uh, but in general, an opportunity to explore those ideas.